Walt Disney presents the Disney Legends. Since 1987, the Walt Disney Studio has been honoring people who've made significant contributions to the Disney legacy. Now, meet Fred Moore, Master Animator. If you asked who had the greatest impact on Disney animation, Fred Moore could be the answer. Co-worker animator Ollie Johnston said Fred was probably the most natural animator they ever had. It was so easy for him to make an appealing drawing and to make it move. In August 1930, a friend canceled an interview with Walt Disney. Fred kept the appointment instead. He took drawings quickly sketched on old wrapping papers, plus three covers he'd drawn for the Junior Times magazine. Walt hired him on the spot three weeks before his 19th birthday. His first big success came quickly, animating the three little pigs. Today, it's hard to appreciate the tremendous impact this one cartoon made on the entire animation industry. And it was the thing we'd been working for for a long time. Personality out of the character. Individual personality. <laughs> With his affable manner and instinctive drawing ability, Fred refined many animation principles and established new ones. The results revolutionized the Disney style with stronger staging and more believable emotions. I think maybe the biggest single contribution was the redesign of Mickey. And Mickey went from that uh, sort of pipe stem arms and legs to that very elegant curved Mickey that's been Mickey ever since. I'll be seeing you. I hope. Fred also solved design problems on the Seven Dwarfs. Working with live-action reference, Fred improved even his own early sketches. As a directing animator, Fred helped create the lovable little men with unique personalities that made Snow White such an enduring classic. He showed other artists how to exaggerate their drawings for greater impact, and there's a lot of Fred's playfulness in Dopey. Another major Fred signature is his designs of women in Disney films of the 1940s. The prototypical ones were the uh, Santorettes in Fantasia. Fellow animator Ward Kimball caricatured himself and Fred for the nifty 90s cartoon. That was no lady, that was my wife. <laughs> As a similar inside joke, Lampwick in Pinocchio is Fred's own self-portrait. Sadly, he died in a 1952 auto accident at age 41, yet his youthful spirit lives on. Even today's artists continue to study and be guided by Fred's work. Veteran director Woolly Reitherman once said Fred contributed immeasurably in advancing the art of animation.